I have a floor buffer with a Kawasaki propane engine. It starts easily but stutters while warming up. No matter how much time I give it to warm up, once I start using it the muffler begins to glow red and eventually blow fire. Hi, on natural gas and propane if the exhaust is glowing red the engine is running too hot due to the mixture being too rich. So you will need to adjust the load block adjustment and to lean out the mixture. If the engine runs too hot on gasoline it is usually because the engine is running too lean. That is the opposite of natural gas and propane, turn the load block clockwise as much as possible so that the engine still runs smooth on the least amount of fuel possible. This will enable your engine to run as lean as possible and your engine will run much cooler. The load block is basically the propane flow control, regulator, and likely why it sputters on load. Let me know if you require additional. Thanks. Could you tell me where on the regulator the adjustment is? I realize they all may be slightly different but my regulator does not appear to be labeled for adjustment. I know where the regulator itself is but could you give me an idea what to look for as far as adjustment? The adjustment is typically a flat screw or adjustable nut just off the carb. There is a supply regulator, off the tank, and a load block, load regulator, on the carb. Look near where a Tyquil jet nut would be on the carb canister. Sometimes it's directly off the tank regulator as well. Possible to upload a pic of what you're looking at? I'm sorry but I can't find the load block. The engine is a Kawasaki FS481V. I'm sure it's the problem, I have three machines with the same exact engine, two randomly started shooting fire, and one is a hard start. The propane conversion kit is in the following picture, I circled the load block in green. Brass, http colon slash www.meaudioaddiction.com slash jaw slash kaw.jpg there's a lock nut on a threaded screw. It's a flow control, if not properly set, allows too much propane to pass. Here are some pictures, the first is the carb, and where the main propane feeds into it. The last pick is the back of my supply regulator, there is a bolt sticking out of it at the bottom I think could be it, but there is an identical bolt on the front of the regulator too so I'm not sure. I apologize for the inconvenience, but I am out of options for getting this fixed. It actually looks as if it is a DIY conversion, without a load regulator, and very dangerous. You are giving the unit 100% flow, 100% of the time. Initially it may have worked, but was running very rich, and probably got poor usage out of the tank. Low gas mileage if you will. I strongly urge you to get a load block installed right where that last 90 degree fitting is at the carb. This will allow the line to load and keep an even flow to the engine. If there's not a small engine repair in your area that can supply one, a brass needle veil can give you the same result, however will come out of adjustment frequently with the vibration. The load block setting locks in place with a jam nut. Add the valve, and close it as much as possible, while the unit still idles properly. This should resolve your overheat issue. Okay, thank you very much. Just a final question, could there be another way they are using to restrict the fuel flow? These machines were all Aztec factory certified, they come from the factory built that way. One of them had 2,700 hours on it before it started acting up. Could there be another way? Or other factors like the high dust environment they are used in that contribute to the problem? And then we'll definitely rate you excellent. 
Thanks again for all your effort. If the air filter is still intact, I would clean or replace it. If it is run without, yes, high dust could contribute to the issue, gumming up chokes etc. And not providing the right air slash fuel mix. There's really no way to regulate the incoming line besides dialing down the tank valve in that setup. Or perhaps a customized jet. The purpose of the load block is to regulate the flow of gas to the machine so it is always constant. It keeps a constant pressure in the hose at all times so there are no performance issues. That square aluminum block may be an engineered flow or jetting block that is factory set and non-adjustable. Any idea what model the floor buffer is? Like Reliant or Lowrider etc. And the size of the pad? Perhaps I can do some additional research with that info. It is an Aztec The Answer 27 inches. Manufactured in 2010 it has 388 hours on it, with a 603cc Kawasaki FS481V ran without a problem until now. Plugs changed, and oil regularly. Also have the same motor on an Aztec Sidewinder that has 70 hours, it is hard to start when it's cold but I have another identical machine with 100 hours that starts and runs perfectly. I have the manufacturer manual for the Sidewinder. It is very vague but it mentions doing a valve adjustment at 300 hours. Maybe that could have something to do with it, but given the differing hours on the machines, and different symptoms, I just assumed that was something all the manufacturers say to be safe. I have a Pioneer Eclipse 20 inches that has a Kawasaki FH380V with 2700 hours that started blowing fire. Ran great until then. An Aztec Reliant 20 inches with the FH380V 300 plus hours, that is impossible to start in the cold. All the factory wants to do is get me to pay them to fix it. That's all I know. Lol. The answer was replaced by the almost identical Lowrider model. These are actually burnishers, not buffers. Not sure if you are aware. Buffing is done under 600 revolutions per minute. Burnishing is between 1500 and 3000 revolutions per minute burnishers run at a much higher RPM for high gloss finish. If you are buffing with it, it is likely not with the correct compound or pad, and the load difference is substantial. Just putting that out there to consider. I'd Number 1 Wash the foam pre-filters and blow out the paper one with compressed air. Number 2 Check the oil level. Number 3 Keep looking for the fuel adjustment. The parts blow out in the manual shows an adjustment on that regulator block, but nothing about adjusting. It states in the manual of the Lowrider that the fuel flow is factory set, and not adjustable. With the load these machines take, it very could be the valve lashing needs adjustment, but I don't see that causing the cherry red exhaust. May just have to bite the bullet on this, and have it into the factory, with the proprietary regulator, it is obvious how, or if, it is adjusted. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.